In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your first repurpose workflow. Now, a workflow is very simple. It's a set of rules. You tell it what the input is, what the action is, and what the output is. So, for example, you want to take your podcast and you want to convert it to a YouTube video. Your input would be your audio podcast feed. The action would be convert audio to video. And the output would be your YouTube channel. Let me show you how this works. You gotta click the create new repurpose workflow. Give it any name you like. So I'm just gonna say Hanny's podcast to YouTube, for example. And I'm going to choose my input, which is my audio podcast. And if I had multiple podcasts, I can choose the one that I want from here. Next step is to choose my action. I wanna convert my audio into a video. So that's good. Next, and choose my output. I'm going to choose YouTube. You can choose either YouTube or Facebook. So you can publish these videos, which basically takes your audio podcast, converts it to a video, and you can have that sent to YouTube or Facebook. So you can only choose one right now, but you can always go back and make another workflow uh, to go from podcast to Facebook. Um, here's where you can choose your playlist. So if you have a playlist on your YouTube channel, you can choose that from here. If not, you can just make up you know, whatever playlist you want. So you can type in the name of the playlist here and create it. And this will actually create it for you on YouTube. So my playlist is selected and you hit create repurpose workflow. And that's it. And if I'm gonna make another one, and this one I'm gonna say it's Hanny's uh, Facebook Live video. So if you're a live streamer and you have Facebook Live, you want to publish that to YouTube automatically. You can uh, create a workflow for that. So this demo is going to show you how to do that. I'm going to say next. I'm going to choose this time. I'm going to choose my Facebook Live videos. If you have regular Facebook videos, you can choose that as well. But I'm going to choose Facebook Live videos. And here it automatically picks my Facebook account. And it shows me three different sections my personal profile, so I can see all my videos from my personal uh, live broadcast from my personal profile. Uh, it'll show me my groups or pages. So in this example, I'm going to pick a Facebook group. And once you pick that, it's gonna show you all your groups. So it's pretty awesome. You pick the group that you want uh, the videos to go from and say next. Now my action, I'm taking, the video and uploading it as a video to YouTube. So the action is upload video. I'm gonna hit next and I'm going to send that video to YouTube. You can also send it to Facebook. Maybe let's say you wanna take from one group and post a video to a page. You can do that as well. So you can customize that, but for YouTube, uh, for this example, I'm gonna pick going to YouTube. And same kind of deal as before, you can choose a playlist. So I'm gonna just choose any playlist I want and hit create. So you can do this over and over again. There's a lot of options. I'm not gonna get into it in this video, but um, there's two things I wanna show you. It's auto button, publish mode, auto manual. So right now when it's on manual, you have to go in and click view episodes. You'll see all your episodes, choose the one that you want and hit publish. Once it's in published, it enters our queue. And if you just refresh the page, it goes into processing. And within a few minutes, it'll go into uh, completed. I'm gonna go back to my workflows. Another thing I wanna show you is as soon as I turn on the auto publish and then go to view episodes, it automatically queues up all my episodes. So they're in the queue to get processed. But also every time I publish a new episode, automatically will get published to YouTube based on these rules. So it's pretty, pretty awesome. Let's go back to my workflows. And the last thing I wanna do, I'm gonna turn this back to manual here. This is where you can configure even more settings for a particular workflow. If I click on here, uh, here's where you can choose your template because it's taking an audio and it's making a video out of it. So here's where you choose your template. You can preview one if you like, just to see what it would look like. So this is the title that automatically comes from your podcast feed. This is the image that it gets from your podcast feed as well. So you can choose a template or you can upload your own template. If you choose that option, you can hit browse and upload a template that you design yourself. Just pretty cool. If you want the design specs for those templates, you can click right here and download a zip file. We can give you all the instructions on how to do that. 
Um, you can change the color of your waveform, the animated waveform. You can choose the color from here if you want to change that to, let's say, hot pink. That's cool too. Um, you can choose which videos to auto publish. So this only works when you're on auto publish mode. You can do them all by default or maybe after a specific date. Let's say you only want episodes from 2017. So I can say only take episodes from January 1st, 2017 and newer. And next to, next to uh, settings are the call to action. So here's where you configure um, a text that goes below the video on YouTube with a clickable link. So by default, it tries to pick the episode from your podcast feed. But if your podcast feed doesn't include the link to your website, some of them do and some of them don't, uh, you can have it go to a custom link. So I can just say, you know, go to handymore.com, anywhere I want. And I can change the text here. I can say, for example, uh, you know, sign up for my newsletter. It's totally up to you where you want to send your traffic. Typically back to your website or to a landing page where you can collect someone's email address in exchange for something of value. And last but not least, you can put in some nice keywords in here, um, like automation or whatever your keywords are, you can add them here. Just gotta click enter after each word, um, you know, business, hit enter. Yeah, as much as you want, and these are the keywords that get published to YouTube and hit save. And so these rules, when I hit auto, they're gonna, it's gonna obey the rules that we just set up. And same thing for Facebook. If you're going from Facebook to YouTube, click the settings. Um, a lot of things are very similar, but a couple differences here is uh, with the Facebook, you can put hashtags in your Facebook description. And when you can have it ignore specific hashtags, so I can say, you know, ignore, you know, hashtag personal. If I don't want my, you know, my personal videos to go through, just gotta hit enter after you're done. Uh, so you can have it ignore videos with a certain hashtag, or you can say only import um, import videos that have a certain hashtag. So let's say you have a brand like you know repurpose. Let's say my hashtag is repurpose. I do all my videos from repurpose. I put a hashtag in there in the description of the video, and I hit enter. Now it's only going to import episodes, uh, sorry, videos that are that contain the hashtag repurpose. Um, same as before, you can include a call to action, sign up for my newsletter and add anywhere you like. And this is gonna put that link on the description of YouTube, which is awesome. Keywords, again, these are the keywords that will go to YouTube. But this cool feature, if you take the time to create a Facebook thumbnail, like a nice thumbnail for your Facebook Lives or your Facebook videos, and you wanna send that as the thumbnail on YouTube, you can go ahead and turn this on and it will automatically make that the featured thumbnail image on your YouTube as well and hit save and that's it so if I click view videos same kind of deal I can publish one that I want and it's gonna enter the queue and it'll enter processing when it's ready when it's uh, when it's, it's turn to go published or just like before I can turn on auto and everything that is set up based on the hashtags based on the dates um, those settings will be respected here when you turn on the auto publish mode and those episodes will get queued and going forward every episode you go live or you do a podcast automatically if you're in auto mode those episodes will get published to where you want them to go.